gosh, that sucked. <clears throat> I'm gonna try that one more time. Hello, I'm Melanie. If you don't know who I am, I always start a video off like that. I always say I'm gonna talk about yada yada. It's like flaws, insecurities, we all have them. You guys could probably point out a whole bunch of flaws just looking at me. All right now I have really bad all for me to talk this week. I've been kind of getting over a cold. So because of that, I sound like this. This whole week I've been trying to make time to make videos and because of that, I've had a lot of time to think about books that are really important and that need to be talked about. And that is flaws and insecurities. And when I first thought about flaws and insecurities, I thought of all the flaws that I have. I'm not good at math. I don't have like an incredible body that society says and what they want you to have. And throughout this whole week, I've been just seeing so many like, examples of how we put ourselves down with because of these flaws that we have. Like just because we don't like these flaws that make us who we are, we build each other down. You see that a lot with women, but guys can be completely the same too. I just, man, when I was actually thinking about this in my head, I thought this was gonna go way more better. I, I don't think I have the perfect nose. I, my nose actually bothers me a lot, but I haven't done anything to it, and I, I don't hate my nose because of how it looks. It's just, it's annoying. I'm not gonna change it just because somebody doesn't like that. So that's a part of me. That's what makes me me. It makes me unique. There's another thing that I don't like feet. There's a reason for that. I don't like my own feet. I actually, I hate wearing sandals because I don't like to see my feet. That's a flaw of mine. That's an insecurity. Because of that insecurity, I don't feel as confident to wear sandals and just show off my feet like other people. How weird that sounds, but it's something that bothers me. And then physically, I'm a shy person. I can be a shy person. I don't just open up to everybody like I wish I could. I used to be very open and very social with a lot of people that I would meet. Just being shy is good. It has its pros and cons. But it's just something that like holds me back from doing something that I could possibly grow from. And but what I'm trying to get at is I have so many flaws and insecurities about myself that I'm looking to change that. I'm, I find other ways to help. I scroll through like social media and I see people make these weird comments. It could be to somebody who's really popular on this platform or really who's in my position who doesn't have that many people, they could just be scrolling through feed and find that one flaw, one flaw just from barely even knowing the person. Please don't spread negativity if you don't know the person because one, that makes the person who's putting themselves out there, makes them feel more insecure. It makes them feel less open because they're putting themselves out there. We're in that person's vibe. It's gonna go with that. The pe you guys who are watching this, you guys have your own insecurities of your own, but you guys don't feel, you, look, you guys feel comfortable enough in your own skin, or you don't feel comfortable enough in your own skin. You should be able to feel comfortable. That's why I'm trying to say you shouldn't have to be afraid to tell people these things. This is what makes you unique. I have a huge flaw, and that's because of it. I've dealt with it my whole life since I was born, and that's having a speech impediment. I can't say my goals exactly. I've had so many people like, maybe they'll meet a, you know, joke and everything and I've played a cool like, yeah, that's funny, joke's on me. I, I know that that doesn't sound as bad, but like it, it's repeatedly happening and you have to tell people always, oh, I have a speech impediment. People are just like, what the heck is that? It's like when I can't pronounce a sword and letter on it. Thing. When I was in school, that's what they called it, the disability, because I can't pronounce anything. Well, I can't pronounce words and everything, I just cannot, cannot pronounce my alls. I'll put the letter right here if you can't understand what I'm saying, alls. Like, that's caused a lot of unneeded stress and anxiety. At some point in my life, I was doing a lot of music, and whenever I've needed to sing a word that has a letter on it, I've actually gotten really nervous, and then because of it, it's holding back what I could have possibly done very well, but I let that get to me. I, I let what I thought people would have thought would hold me back. 
But really, I was holding back myself because of that. Another insecurity of mine that really I have to go grow from. Now, I would talk more in depth with this. But my battery's running low again because I forgot to charge it when I was like this one time because I was getting off. So, if you like this video, please put like it. Tell me an insecurity of yours that you've had to dealt with or is relatively new and find something good in it. You know, these flaws of ours, we're not celebrating ourselves enough. We have so much self-worth, we have so much potential that we need to use it. We need to use this potential and positivity because everybody is unique. Everybody should celebrate how unique they are. We shouldn't be bringing people down because that is just not right. And in a world that is constantly being negative towards us, especially in media and what we're hearing all around the country, we need to spread some positivity. So guys, remember, keep it real, keep it sweet, and stay unique, and I'll see you in the next video.